What's up everybody? About a week and a half ago, I posted a video asking you guys to ask me questions and then I would make a Q&A video answering them. So, this is that Q&A video. Damien Destructo wants to know, what type of experience was it opening for Ritz and Crooked Eye? Um, it was dope. Uh, my set got cut short. So that kind of sucked, but uh, the songs I did rock got dope reactions. There was, it was a good turnout. There's a lot of people in the crowd. Um, so yeah, it was dope. And you will see that because we got a bunch of footage. Once the first episode of The Life of Me drops, um, you'll pretty much see the whole experience. The Life of Me, episode one, uh, opening for Ritz and Crooked Eye. It's like prepping, then the show, then a whole bunch of other shenanigans. So yeah, it's funny. Be on the lookout for that. Next question. Corey Brown wants to know, are you ever going to make it out to the Midwest? Um, yeah, man, that's the plan for sure. I'm trying to make it as many places as I can go. I'm trying to take this shit worldwide. Um, I don't know exactly where in the Midwest that you're referring to, but yeah, man, one day I'm going to be in the Midwest, and when I am, you got to be there, Corey Brown. Hugo Alvarez wants to know, when are you doing a show in the Bay Area? Um, soon, hopefully, man. I'm like I said, I'm trying to get as many places as I can. California will probably be the first, probably be one of the first places we go. I'm definitely trying to book out-of-state shows right now, so, you know, hit up your local promoters, man. Hit up your local promoters, tell them you want to see me at your venues, because that helps out a lot. SYMB Productions asks, What's your favorite song on your new album? Mine is 1993. Good shit, bro. Um, thank you, SYMB Productions, first of all. I'd definitely say 1993 is the one I'm the most proud of. Um, I've wanted to write something like that for quite a long time, and just being able to get something like that out was huge for me. And I think that's the best song I've ever written. I think that's the best rap I've ever written. That's the thing that I'm the most proud of out of everything. So yeah, I'd say like that's my favorite. However, I wouldn't really say it's my favorite to listen to, and I'm sure you guys can probably understand why just by listening to the song i'm glad so many people like it that's like i was scared putting that out and i'm just so glad people took uh the response they did so yeah thank you guys um but yeah like i said that's not really one that i like to listen to all the time so i'd probably say like my favorite song on there uh I, it it switches it's hard to pick like your favorite song uh so determined is one of my favorites and Oasis is for sure one of my favorites. I don't know, it's like, it's hard to pick, you know, I, I love the whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's that. Sorry if I was rambling on that last question. It's hard to pick between your songs. Everybody says it's like trying to pick, like, your favorite child and shit. Like, it is. So I'm just gonna say, uh, Oasis and So Determined are my two favorites at the moment. PK Oaks wants to know, when can we expect a new album and what could this album be about? Probably not for a while. <laughs> I just put out Old Soul and a Young Body like a few months ago. So yeah, probably not for a while. I'm definitely going to continue to work. I'm definitely going to make another project. Um, I don't know if I might do an EP or something. I'm not really sure. I'm definitely working on new music. And you're definitely going to hear new music. I'm going to be putting out singles and music videos from OSYB. And there's still a lot of people that haven't even heard OSYB. So I just really need to focus on that. Really need to push and promote that. Um, thank you to everyone that has listened to it and has purchased it on iTunes or downloaded it for free. However they got it. Thank you. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to push that to everybody. Definitely you will get new music, new singles, stuff like that. I'm definitely working on a new project. But as far as like when a whole album is going to come out, I'm not sure. But um, you guys will definitely be the first people to know when it comes to that time. So, yeah. Tribal Dunks wants to know, where do you see yourself in the rap game five years from now? And what was your biggest inspiration for the album Old Soul and a Young Body from the homie Max in France? Yo, shout out the homie Max in France. Now, that blows my mind that somebody in France is listening to my album. That's crazy. So, yeah, shout out to you, man. Where do I see myself in the rap game five years from now? Um... I don't know, man, as hopefully as far as I can take it. This is my career, and I'm trying to bring it as far as I can bring it. I don't really like to, like, look at the future too much. Like, okay, I'm in five years, I'm going to be right here, because then if five years comes and I'm not there or I'm somewhere else, I don't like to ever say that. So 
Um, all I can really say is I'm gonna work my ass off for the next five years, for the next forever, you know, for my the rest of my life. But yeah, if you're talking in five years, like I'm gonna work as hard as I can in that five years to get as far as I can and as big as I can. Yeah, that's the plan, man. I'm trying to go everywhere you guys are talking about coming to do shows. Like I'm trying to go there. I'm trying to be on tour. I'm trying to meet you guys in person. I'm trying to hear these stories that you guys are sending me on messages. I'm trying to hear you guys tell me that face to face. Like I want the world to know who I am. I want the world to hear my message. So yeah, um, in five years, that's the plan. So yeah, hopefully in five years, I'm doing good things. <laughs> I can't really pinpoint exact things are exactly where I see myself in five years but yeah just up just as far as I can take it man as big as I can be um, pretty much man what was your biggest inspiration for the album Old Soul and a Young Body that's a good question um, I'd say one of the biggest inspirations was just wanting to tell my story I've been rapping for a long time a lot of y'all have probably heard me rap and have never really knew who I was as a person because all these years that you've heard me rap and all these years that I've been rapping, I've never had a chance to sit down on a song and really be that personal and really put my feelings, my emotions, my life onto these pages. I wanted to do something with more meaning. My main objective, my main inspiration was getting you guys to know who I am by listening to this album. And just by some of those messages that people are sending me, it's like, man, I really feel like I've known you your whole life. That's amazing because that's what I set out to do with it. The second biggest inspiration was to prove that I can make music. A lot of people have heard me rap. I really wanted to show that I can make music. You know, um, I can do different types of flows. I can do melodies. I could make beats. I produce most of the album. I wanted to be as creative as possible and just make music. So, yeah. And tell my story. So that's that question. Kind of rambled on a little bit. The Lethal Gamer wants to know Tech Nine or Eminem. He asked me this on Twitter and YouTube. So he really wants to know my opinion on Tech Nine or Eminem. Um, definitely would pick Eminem. Tech Nine is super dope. I've seen him live like three times, and he kills it. And just as far as like an independent hustle, like you know, <laughs> respect to Tech Nine. But yeah, I definitely pick Eminem. It's just you know I grew up listening to him. This one's three questions, but they're pretty good, so I'll answer them. Travis5472 wants to know, when you're in the studio and trying to get into the mode, what's your routine to start it off fresh? Starting off so young, who's been there to keep your shoulders up high and keep you going? And finally, where do you pull your energy from? Old school hip hop or are you producing your own style? Good questions, Travis. When you're in the studio and trying to get into the mood, what's your routine to start it off fresh? Um, I don't really have a specific routine I go to. If I'm writing something, it might be a, a play the beat for a long time until you come up with something, or it might just hit you like that. You never really know. It's all kind of different with the creative process. You just got to go with the flow and be creative pretty much. So yeah, no real specific routine for that. Question two, starting off so young, who's been there to keep your shoulders up high and keep you going? Um, family most of all. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's that's something you really got to do by yourself. You know what I mean? Um, it's hard, but you are your own person. You are strong. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So, yeah, that's really something I try and do myself is really, like, keep my head up and keep pushing. Like, man, shit sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Like, we're going to get better. We're going to get over this. Of course, family keep you strong, and you have your people there to hold you down. But at the end of the day, that's something you really got to learn to do by yourself. And just, you know, have that uh, strength within yourself to keep fighting and stuff. So, yeah, man. Question three. And finally, where do you pull your energy from? Old school hip hop or are you producing your own style? Um, I produce a lot of the beats on the album. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely trying to produce my own style. Like I said earlier, I'm really trying to be original, be creative, and just make music how I want to make it. I love old school hip hop. I love new school hip hop. I love a whole bunch of different music. So, um, I'm really trying to create my own style and just be original. All right, guys. Well, this was my first Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for asking me questions. Leave more questions in the comments of this video, and I'll make another Q&A in a couple weeks or so. Or you could leave them on my Facebook or Twitter or anything, really. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Go like me on Facebook. Domes Gage at everything. And um, I'll see you all next time. Make sure you watch the first episode of The Life of Me when it comes out. 
yeah, Q&A over.